With her trademark glossy locks and nude shoes, she's the center of attention wherever she goes. Yeah, I saw her. That's so cool. There's, it's so different from America. There's no like bodyguards, she's not in a car or anything, so it's so weird. But many had to have a double take of this double of Kate as she visited Windsor this week. I think she's the image of Princess Kate. Um, I did a double take and would have sworn. <laughs> Being mobbed in the street has become a regular occurrence for Windsor-born Gabriella Douglas, who is one of Britain's top Kate Middleton lookalikes. In between working as a furniture buyer and designer, for the last two years the 26-year-old has been moonlighting as the Duchess of Cambridge. It just happened probably just after the wedding and I think Kate was in real consciousness around and um, people just kept saying to me, you look like Kate Middleton, have you ever thought of being a lookalike? And I didn't really at first, and then I thought, oh, maybe it's an interesting opportunity. So I sent my photograph off to a lookalike agency. And then it um, sort of take, took off from there, really. Um, so yeah, there's probably certain jobs I would draw the line. Like, at the time of the topless photos, I didn't really want any jobs involving that, really. And um, I was offered a couple, but I just turned it down straight away, because I just think it, I wouldn't want anything to damage mine or Kate's reputation as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Gabriella's fondness of the royal family started more than a decade ago when she had an unexpected meeting with a prince. So around, so around 2001, um, my one of my best friends had piano lessons at Eton College, so I'd always go afterwards and meet her. And I was walking through the corridor once and um, Prince William actually held open the door for me <laughs> as I walked through the corridor and I was just absolutely unbelievable then. So I must have been about 14 and he must have been 18. And um, it's weird thinking to this day that now I impersonate his wife. <laughs> it's really bizarre. <laughs> Part of the job of posing as the royal involves keeping up with Kate's changing appearance. If I go to meet and greets or I do photo shoots, I have to obviously resemble Kate Middleton. So I have to wear a fake baby bump or I have to get my fringe cut if she gets her fringe cut or I have to keep up to date with my clothes as well. So for instance, this dress, uh, she wore out and about the other day um, and she bought it from Topshop so I had to rush straight down to Topshop and get the same dress before it sold out. So I have to really follow her quite closely and I do follow her on Twitter when she's seen out and about in certain outfits. Wherever she goes, the former Windsor Girls School pupil draws a crowd but the resemblance can have its downside. And this isn't the first time she's had problems with security at Windsor Castle. Um, well, because I'm, I'm from Windsor and I always take my friends, my visiting friends um, around the castle and around the grounds, I always pop in and people often say, like the guards have said to me a couple of times, you look like Kate Middleton. And I've actually gone, well, I'm, I'm actually a lookalike. And um, I've been stopped by the police a few times and they've actually had to take my details just to make sure I, who, I was, who I said I was because I think they thought I was trying to sneak in one of the rooms of the castle <laughs> as Kate. <laughs> <laughs> but with fees of up to a thousand pounds in appearance, Gabriella hopes the lucrative sideline will continue.